Hello guys, I know you guys have been waiting for this session called Q&A and I'm trying to find the best position where the sun is. This chair is... Eh? It's shaking. I don't know if somebody heavy heavy sat on it. Eh. It's kinda. Or it's me who is moving. Hmm. You ask it's like that, finding here? No. Or maybe it's because of the slipperiness. Maybe. Okay, maybe they shouldn't be here. So guys, uh, this is Rocio. Hello guys. My beautiful wife, say hello. Mm -hmm. Again, the me, night. Yeah, let me close here. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Yes. Rocio here. And also thanks to, what's her name? Uh, Mrs. A. A. Mrs. A. Yes. Thank you so much. Amazing you cakes. Let's show them. See, I know yeah. a lot. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 a lot of people who try to ask what is not going on. <laughs> we received Guys, a lot of cakes after. Receiving. If you wonder what's happening, it's <laughs> not somebody's birthday today. Yeah. It's just somebody saw me craving for cake and failing on my baking. On my last video, you can go watch it. And she was very, very thoughtful. I'm amazed by the love that you have for us, guys. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. And she just decided to send a lot of Lots cake. Of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cake. Lots of cake. Even on the other side. Even in Thank this you. one, we have more. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. So after we so eat lunch. We're going to have a small party and share cake yes, with guys. everybody today. <laughs> Look, chocolate. Yes. Yeah, you guys really, 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 really love us. Yes. So and on, on, on this other side here, on my right hand side, we have Finding mm. Ian. What's up, guys? Good afternoon from Kenya. Welcome to I Am Marwa channel. This yes. is Finding Ian on YouTube. Yes. And we are here to celebrate. And also, in this <laughs> video, I'll be doing Q&A. Yes. So I want Rocio and Finding Ian to be helping me to actually read the questions and I try as much as possible to answer and I think even some of the questions could be for Rocio maybe some I think maybe so finding you and you have your phone yes I can pick it it's charging down here all right one minute. minute all right Rocio you have your phone no I bring it yes but I read the Instagram ones for you no it's or... good you have your phone so that yes you... But also with my, my phone, you can read. Because uh, the Instagram ones, I need your Instagram. Yes. Yes. Finding Ian can, can read. So, YouTube. which one should we start from? Should we start from Instagram? You guys have an Instagram account. Yes. It's called I Am Marwa. It's right there. Please go follow me. We are at 156,000 followers. And also, it shows you places I've been to. Like, for example, Dominican Republic, USA. I've been to Haiti, guys. Do you know I've been to Haiti before? You can click here and even see photos or videos of Haiti. I was cooking in Port au Prince. They have bananas. When are you going to cook? Maybe when you have kids. Ah. Not even one kid, several kids. And I have can't... to wait all of that? Oh my god. Guys. Okay, hold this, but mother, I'll cook for you when we are in Argentina, don't worry. Yes. Just know, are you ready for my food? That is the real question. My phone okay. is here. So what we'll do, finding Ian, yes. <coughs> where should we start from? YouTube? Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Okay, so Instagram, we have to... No, you have to go to the notifications. Okay. So, I... <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm opening this. This is my story, Instagram story. Starting from here. So you click like this and these are your questions. I can open and you guys see there are thousands of them, look. Very many. Very many, I don't know if we'll finish, but we will try our best, look. Those are you guys. And this is just one section of the, the questions. If you see on this other side also the next, I asked also six uh, here, we still have more and more coming, so you see? Yeah. So let's try and see if we will finish. And also on, Insta on YouTube, YouTube, uh, one minute, on the community, 
we have questions. Yeah, we want to show you this question so that people don't say we are making this up. This is, and you can even access, especially YouTube ones. Yes. You can access them. So I go to community. posts. You know, nowadays they don't really say community, they say posts. So we have 121 comments. comments. And I don't know if we will finish. You know, even if I take one minute to we, answer each, those are, those are already 121 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we start from where? Instagram. Instagram. Instagram is best. Okay. Fast, yes. Okay. So, uh, you'll be reading one? Yes. Gake, how are you? I'm good. What's going on? The lunch is ready. So after here, maybe you can just go and eat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So should we have lunch, then we come back? Uh, you can do a few ones because we are already here. Then we go to eat. You can. So for the next twenty-five minutes, you are ready to sit. We do half an hour, then the next one half an hour. Okay. Yes. Okay. Or Maybe we less than twenty-five because we you don't want to eat cold. So okay. Let's okay. do a few ones and then. Uh, okay. Can... Finding Ian. Yeah. Start reading. Random is okay. okay. So I'm picking. That... Let's start from the start. Okay. Like from, from the... the most bottom. Yeah, I think that's. Hey, but it's it's confusing. Or we just start here? Yeah, let's down. start. Yeah. Okay. Someone is asking here, what is your dream car, Maro? <laughs> My dream car. So, guys, uh, since I was a young kid, I've always thought I will have a Mercedes Benz. Uh, not because it's like classy, but my neighbor called Marwa he used to be very rich. I've told you his story before. And he had very many Mercedes Benzes, so I was obsessed with just seeing him drive them left-handed, right-handed. But that being said, is Mercedes Benz is kind of my dream car. But I think for the person I've grown to be, I'll choose a Toyota uh, V8, the one that does. Uh, you have your phone? You can show them. No, I don't have my phone. What happened? But you want a cruise, a uh, cruise land. Yeah, Land Cruiser, yeah. Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser, yeah. because with that one, for, safari. for safaris, we are many as a family, and also I'm more social guy, I'm a guy who does not want to be alone in my car, so I think that can be okay. Yes, another random question. Yes. This one is relating to your traveling. Someone is saying, when are you hitting the road again? You can, you can be reading <laughs> their names, so they don't just, okay. but not all names, just... Half of the name. Half of the name. Privacy, yeah. This one is someone called Kiwan. Kiwan. Kiwan says, when are you hitting the road again? You can hold this for me, Rosie. Yeah. So, Rosie, you can answer that. When are we hitting the road again? Uh, very soon, actually, we are heading to South America. So, yeah. my country, Argentina. Yes. Yes. Probably September. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Mtume is asking, will you advise someone to purchase Starlink? So I would say it's 50-50. If you have, you have a current internet that runs very fast, just use it. Especially, I would say Starlink, for my case, is it has not worked, especially having a big house. I believe if I had a small house, like uh, just one room or two or three bedroom, it would have worked. No, I don't think it's a big house. It okay. has nothing to do with a big house. Okay. I think it's something about this, the signal here. Because uh, Starlink is very good, very powerful. I oh. had it before, and it's not about the like all all coffee shops and places to like co co work spaces. Yeah. In the world, are investing in Starlink, Starlink, and they have like maybe fifty people working on the laptops at the same time. So and guys, we'll say like yeah. this: just get it. Maybe things will improve yeah. with time. It's a new technology. Yeah. I'm very sure. I'd, one year down the line, it can't be working the way it's working today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm saying if you have another internet running, like me, I had another internet running, which I paid more. I paid a hundred, close to a hundred dollars, no, eighty dollars, and it's very fast. Or you, what do you have? Because you've used also the, the Starlink. Yeah. Uh, the other one we were using before is fast. No, right now you know we are using the other one. Yes. That's why it's fast. Starlink is a little bit corner cornering. Like yes. I don't know what it's it's not is. it's not right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so it's 50-50. You can actually go either way. One thing I like about Starlink is as long as you have 
you have power in your house when i say power i mean energy like electricity or solar you are assured of any time of the day or night you have internet connection okay yes. next question only one is yes. asking when are we starting to build the kitchen maybe he's asking the, the interior the kitchen of the house. rocio you can answer that <laughs> um <laughs> Actually, next month, next month we start with the first kitchen. Hundred percent. Next one. month, actually, in, in the next two weeks from now, yeah. we will start building. And you know, I'm still thinking that we should build concrete kitchen because it's more stable, and we can put tiles or any other material on top. I think I will build concrete. Yes. Okay. Someone is asking Mose. Mm -hmm. Tell us about more the program that took you to colombia that is dating back back those times when you are starting so uh there's a program called volunteers colombia you can google you see if it still exists because governments have changed over and over and when governments change they bring different programs so i don't know if it still exists but if it does uh just try your luck you could actually find yourself going to colombia Yes. Yeah. Just be honest in the process. Some people lie, they have done this degree and they have not done. That can be a problem if you do that. Rayola posed another question asking, do you ever feel bored in the, in the village? Uh, maybe starting with Rocio. <laughs> uh, me? <laughs> yeah, in my case, yes, I do. Because I was used to a very different life, life and very different activities. Um, but for Maro, I don't think he gets bored. He's always very busy, but you can tell us. So me, I never get bored because one of the things I always tell myself is I have to build my home to make it a place like that one that I want to go to. Let's say if I'm craving to go to London, I want to build my home to feel like London. Or I want to build my home to feel like maybe, let's say, Thailand or somewhere. So that every day when I wake up, for me, it's a holiday. And... And also the thing is this, when I'm home, I'm very, very busy every day. I'm like, every day is something about construction going on every single day. If it's not mine, my friends, things like that. Or me managing something to do with construction or improving something in the house. So every day for me, I see staying in the village as a step towards building my dream or building a home or building the society around me, something like that. So I never get bored, yes. I never get bored. Wow. Yes. So let me look for another question here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pick a very random uh, question. Yes. The, the first one is asking, when is the wedding? That is A Q double E, a key. I think that red is, that name is being read as a key. So when is the <laughs> wedding? I don't know actually when the wedding is, but the thing is, if we want to have it, we will have it like, like, you know, civil one before we do a big wedding yeah. yes but uh probably it will happen uh i don't know i will talk to rocio because this is something we have to decide both of us and you can't force someone to yes but from my side i think uh by the end of next year we should have done all weddings and things like that you know at least because at the same time, these things take money. And you can't just say, I'm going to do a wedding when you don't have a kitchen in the house. You need to travel to other places because they take money. But the civil one, that one is quite straightforward. Yes, yes but at the same time, Rocio wants particular rings. So I have to look for that first. Yes, that is it, Rocio. But unless you are ready for even a silver. <laughs> Yes. The the thing is, what I'm teaching Mara in in this, because thing here, uh, uh, things here happen in a different way, more like easy. In one day, you can be married if you want. In my culture, the wedding is like the the dream day. You know, it should be like super special. So I'm teaching that he's the one who's supposed to propose and come with an engagement ring and things like this, and and. I think it's gonna happen once in my life, so I want it to be at least special. 50 special, you know? Okay. Yes. Next. All right, someone is asking, when are you building a golf course in your area? A golf? A, a golf course. 
like the field where people play golf something is asking a question in my area to, to golf uh, probably when i make more money yes. yes but that's a very good idea you know yeah. i've always thought uh, like building and building and making a place mm. like where people feel nice to be yes like uh, let me go that place i've missed it i want to make I don't know I'm always like pushing for that idea like I want to make my home to be the best to be like so nice where people when they come they just want to chill and chill and chill and chill All right You didn't find any controversial anything uh, I'm I'm trying to look yeah. for controversial question like I saw one here someone asking Yeah Son Bruno asked yeah. will your son get all african names Uh so one thing I've told uh Rocio if it's a girl she will really play a big role in naming her but if it's a boy I'll really play a big role in naming him and me I told Rocio uh if it's a boy I just want him to take my names and we add Junior that's all All right yes Rocio do you, do you approve <laughs> or we shall see We shall see Okay. Oh, okay. Dichu is asking, have you ever thought of touring Europe with Rocio in a van? I mean, you sleep, cook in the van, it looks fun. So the thing is, I don't know how to drive. Until then, that I will know how to drive and get an international license, uh, something like that can But you work. would do something like this, like living in a van lifestyle, van lifestyle. You oh. would do it like a trip like that. Yeah, uh, but something cooking I can do like bad, cooking in the bar. Something I can bar. do like one month. After that I want to go home and, and 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 because sometimes I feel like van life is okay, but it's not long term. There is people that has been doing for years in a I like agree. I actually there are many YouTubers and yeah. couples that yeah. has this lifestyle. Yeah. It was kind of like a, a dream for me in a but, moment but, then it just faded. But think away. of this like when we have kids or a kid mm. and staying in a van every day you think yeah. is but if you are just chilling somewhere in Mexico you want to move around and also I don't know how to repair a van I'm also always afraid like man I'm in the middle of the night I'm driving then the van stopped to do everything you can learn also <laughs> you know yes but it's something actually or maybe when we get our own uh a uh, The safari for the example safari. could be could be uh, a starting point could be a starting like for example yeah yeah maybe like a two weeks trip road yes. trip and we you see use, how you use the tents van. and things like that tents then we see things. it's like very uh, you have to be adventures adventure mm -hmm. okay we have mulalo here uh -huh. uh, responded and asked a question mm -hmm. was it necessary to start complaining about your local youtubers challenges online than off camera so the thing is guys uh maybe i'll explain this being in a position i am as maro is these guys i told them not to i will make it as brief as possible because i don't want to talk about those type of energies anymore I told them not to make certain videos in my home but they continue they persistently or they persisted in doing those type of videos for example somebody would say disaster happening in my home and I'm traveling I don't get like shocks when I'm far away somebody talking about my home how it has I don't know what has happened and even if you look at these things they are not like really serious stuff but they give me and my wife when we are traveling a bad vibe like hey what's going on in our home so i want some of them not some actually all of them that have left is what you are doing is not okay because i honestly want you to stay here and and be uh, successful but you see the problem is when i told them when they kept doing and i told them okay get out of my gate uh or get out of our compound then i had nothing to control what they do in terms of the type of things they want to say about me so they were saying every single day allegations allegations and i got tired even if only 2000 people watch them or a thousand but this has been my audience why would somebody lie saying maybe for example i didn't pay them for three months they were slave in 2023 2024 i mean it doesn't go well 
on mice. And these are people who that we've been eating together from the same tables. So it's not okay. That's why I said enough is enough. Let me just address it so they know that even me, I can actually talk about it. Yes. Okay, another question by Prezi. Mm -hmm. How did you meet Rocio? Maybe some people don't know how you met So Rocio. what we'll do is, when we come back, yes. Rocio and me, we will answer this. But actually, if you've been watching us, yes. maybe you've heard a little story. But we've never really revealed on our big channels how we met. No. Okay. okay. Yes. Maybe this will be how we met. We will answer that after yes. a commercial break. Yes. Oh, let's, okay. let's do a few more. A few more. For five minutes and that is it. Okay, Wanza is asking, when are you planning to propose to Ro? <laughs> so, I'll, I'll say, let's see even this year how it goes, because the year is still young, and we'll see how it goes. You know something that your mom to, uh, told me, that yes. uh, we, cannot get, we cannot get married while I'm expecting. So, but and to something propose. That we are not yet to propose, you can propose whenever you want. But uh, the marriage is in the culture is not allowed to be expectant while you're getting married. I learned oh. that the other day. Okay. And I think it will. No, it's not, it's not that it's not allowed in my culture. But me, I would rather not to have like a belly on the wedding and things like this, you know. Okay. And, uh, but I learned that from You me. know, when I look at our wedding, I see it as a very small wedding exclusive somewhere in the middle of the ocean like Mombasa and we've invited friends <laughs> that you spend like three days because people are coming from far and that is it or another wedding would be big party in the villa for a whole month <laughs> you know something like that okay Finding on, on this section i'm exhausting the questions because some are comments Okay. This one, JP is asking about installations. Why don't you engage professionals? Your house is big. Uh, the thing is this, guys. Actually, all these people that come, they always say, I know how to do. Yes. They say, I know how to do. The only thing I didn't do in this house is get contractors and assign them, give them money and they should do the job. Yes. I also like to engage myself in building my own house. I like to be there. I like to see the progress. But nobody has ever come to my house and said, you know, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Everybody comes saying, I, I, I am the best. I've been, I have work experience, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nyakundi is asking, how much is that you are loving sliding door? I don't know if he's asking the glass ones or the wooden one. Oh, sliding door should be like, I don't know, maybe maybe one. it's the one at our home, uh, at, at our room, because we, right there where we stay. Maybe I opened it because okay. it's maybe just... He's asking about but just know this, uh, anything about glasses, it depends on, on the spaces you want to put them. If they are big spaces, they take more money. But I, glasses only in this house have spent... Minimum 50,000 US. Only glasses on this house. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm exhausting the question. Oh, so yeah. let me see if this one is the one because we, we had uh, that is could be the last. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I don't know if it's you've checked these in ones. The, this this one. one, there should be more. In, in this one. These ones, the one you had put. The these one ones are had, very many. Yes, these ones are the ones. Ah, these ones, there are many. I don't know where to start. Okay, okay, let me just choose one. Let's start from the bottom. Okay. We'll do three of them mm -hmm. and we we'll go and eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Binzikas, Bin, Bin, Bin Zaks is mm -hmm. asking, mm -hmm. honestly, without filtering the answer, how do you feel having a family? Okay. So. There is a sense of, of like, wow, bro, I'm building, I'm finally building my own family, you know, like feeling very happy and, 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 and also I don't feel like I'm alone, you know. Sometimes they say people attack me on the internet and my wife is there, she gives me that moral support, you know. So it's never me as Marwa because long time ago I just used to be the same guy, I have, I have no backup, now I have like a family, like... I can rely on and at the same time also I'm excited about the future because I want to have kids and things like that 
but at the same time also uh, there are things that I used to do that I can't do anymore uh, so also those ones are uh, like the things I've given up but one thing I, even I was telling to my wife the other day is you can't have both worlds at the same time you have to choose which world for example maybe I used to use like dating apps I can't use things like that forever forever or I used to maybe go to clubs, uh, left, right, center. I can't do that anymore. And if maybe I ever go, it should be with my wife or something, or maybe to go and film a YouTube video about nightlife. So there are things you can't do anymore because you're married. And there are things that also you feel, wow, this has actually brought me... Like now, especially that part that uh, I'm not alone anymore. That's like so powerful. You know, a long time ago, maybe somebody say, maybe, for example, in the house, I'll say, oh, I'm not eating today lunchtime. I can never say something like that anymore because I have to ask my wife, hey, what are we eating for lunch? Now, unless she says, okay, I'm not eating, then I say I'm not eating. Yeah. And there's a sense of, uh, I'll say, stability in the home. You just feel at peace. You know, your wife is there. Yeah. You, what do you feel? <laughs> um, actually, it feels... It feels nicer than what I ever thought. Yeah. Because as you see, like those things that we used to do and when we were single, um, it's a good life also. You can have a lot of fun and things like that, but, but you reach a moment when you want to feel that life has a bigger purpose. And I think also now that we have a baby coming, um, things feel different. It's also, in my case, it's very nice to feel supported. Um, it's not that I'm not alone because I wasn't having those, those feelings like loneliness, but yes, it's very nutritional for me to have a man that take care of me in many different aspects and someone that you can rely on and, um, and someone who wants to build future with you that also is is very beautiful it's very beautiful you feel a sense of safety that is um, very important especially for a woman it's important to feel safe and when you find a man that can provide that it's it's very nice for us and it's very nice to be in a moment of saying well i'm building home i'm building family so it feels nice all right finding ian yes. at this part of the video we're gonna yes. We're going to do one more last question. Okay. And then we go eat. All right. Then you guys will catch up in part two. But All right. In the video, it will just continue. Keep watching and give the video a like. Okay. We are quite hungry, guys. Yes. Uh -huh. So one last question. Levis here is asking, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Yes. I think I've, I've answered this question before in my previous videos. I always feel like I fear women. But that does not mean like I fear my wife and things like that. Uh, where I get this fear is I've seen like really great men being taken down by like allegations and things like that that are not true. Uh, but you see something like now having a wife uh, has a better sense because you're not in the streets anymore where some random girl can easily accuse you for something you didn't do and you end your career. And even sometimes me and my wife, we've we've showcased, like I saw a story of uh, Man City. He was a black guy from Man City. I don't know what his name was, who was found not guilty, but his career was already erased. Uh, people like Neymar, they've been in those, even Cristiano Ronaldo, they've been in those type of uh, situations. Because I always feel like, uh, I always feel like other things men can actually control. But when it comes to that section of trying to be in a relationship, especially in the first class world where deceit and money and what can I gain from you is like top of the line, not family and things like that. Uh, it can be very destructive or fearful to deal with in a, in a society or to be in a society where, you know, somebody can wake up in the morning and say anything before you prove yourself it's too late and your career is gone and your life is just effed up. So... Yeah, I think for me, but now that I have a wife, that fear is gone because it's more of a family than me trying to meet some random girl or something like that. 
And I have had this feeling for a long time and not just now, since I'll say, since I discovered that, hey, bro, you know, I'm kind of on the, on the best roadmap of making it in life. You know, I'm not that village boy anymore. I'm not that just random guy in the street anymore. I had that sense like uh, this is something I have to take care of very keenly. Yes. Also, God, when you when you get so much uh, success and things, you have a lot to lose. Also, it's different when you have nothing to lose and somebody says something about you. Yeah. But you have built yourself very, very in a very high level. Yeah. So, yeah, you have a lot to lose also. So. Finding Ian, what's your fear? Ah, my biggest fear. Yeah. Ah, I fear losing a loved one. Okay. Yes. Wow. That is my biggest fear, losing a loved one. Like, it can really affect me for a very long time. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And you, Rocio? Mm, my biggest fear... Um, mm, I like to face my fears very much, very much. So, I wouldn't say that I have something that I... Truly, but there's truly one thing that fear. always gives you a little. Oh, I hate this feeling. Something like that. Mm. Or thoughts. Thoughts. Um, yeah, that bring install fear in you. Um. Let me. Um, All right, guys. Let's do this. I think. I we, think about it. We don't have pressure. The answer to come from Rocio. Yes. Uh, let's end this here for now and part two coming guys as we have this small commercial break this is our lunch today it's quite simple we have eggs actually these eggs were cooked by gake i feel like he can actually do hospitality and also today i took uh, medicine for uh the warming <laughs> People may laugh, but I'm telling you guys, the thing that causes a lot of problems in your body is parasites and 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 worms. Trust me. If you can manage dealing with those things for a long time, you'll enjoy a happy, healthy life. Okay. Go to my data. Yes. So we're yeah, having okay, eggs. Okay. Skuma wiki right here guys and ugali you have some fruits over there so let's go to part two of this video your q and a all right guys back to part two of the video q and a and first i want to give a special thanks to ngenzi africa for actually giving gifting us two t-shirts from burundi and uh even my wife rocio has a similar uh as a similar t-shirt let's go back as we answer your q and a and sometimes you guys think we are making this up but sorry sorry i want to show you like how many questions we've received look they are here they are in hundreds 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 and hundreds 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 okay all that Let's go. What? All right. All right. So, finding Ian. You'll bring the other chair? Yes. Or you can move this one? Yes. Yes, finding Ian. You can move this then. Or I'll help you move it. Yes. So, hold uh, here and... No. Okay. Yes, finding Ian. Expensive? No, I thought you could put it somewhere there. So I sit here, so okay. you'll be part of the video. Okay. Right here. Expensive chair finding here. Yeah. 80,000. <laughs> Is it 80 or 90? 90. 90,000. 90, 90 is a lot. <laughs> That's Kenyan shillings, guys. That yeah. is close to uh, 80 dollars, 800 dollars. What? Hey, hey. Okay, finding Ian. Yes. So we had reached a <coughs> we had reached a point where Rocio had to say her greatest fears. Ah, uh, my greatest fear. I think um, I think I would say it was. Okay. Um, I had a lot of fear of rejection. Okay. You know, like being an artist and you want to like 
you want people to like you, you know, yeah, and and to receive like nice compliments and things and things. And the scary part was like people just telling me awful things or horrible things or things about me that are not true. And I think the best the best way to face fears is just going through them. And life actually put me in that position. So now I'm just learning to navigate that. A lot of people is rejecting me since day one, <laughs> and yeah. since I'm exposing myself and in big, big audiences. And also knowing that whatever they say about me has nothing to do with me, but with them. So I'm learning to live in peace with the fact that not everybody will like me and that's more than okay. Yeah. All right. Next question, finding Ian. Are we still okay. on Instagram or we now are. on YouTube? Where do we finish? Let's finish. Let's, let's finish do Instagram. Instagram then, then we jump on YouTube because oh. we don't want somebody says, oh, I asked them a question and they ignored. All right. Yes. So, <laughs> finding Ian. Back to... That is somebody calling me? Yes, yeah, someone is calling can check first. Oh, Jamaican uncle. Eh, Jamaican uncle. Good morning, my traveling commander. How are you? Very well. We are in the middle of filming a video, uncle. Can I call you after this? Um, I, I hope you call me after this, man. Yes, Rocio will remind me. Rocio, please don't forget, ma'am. Okay. Thank, All right, thank th you. Thank you, uncle. All right. Okay. Yes. Just go to all questions. Don't all don't right. don't fear. We okay. will answer. We will because people want to know. Okay. Yes. So someone is asking here called Lillian. Lillian. Are you having a boy or girl? Uh, Rocio, answer that in one question in one sentence. In one sentence is we don't know. A hundred percent, guys. Yeah. We we also want to get a shock. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We give okay. a surprise. Yes. Yeah. Warim is asking, apart from YouTube, any additional income that you got? Uh, I actually had seen a, another longer question which talks about the future of YouTube. Uh, like, okay, okay. That's, it's just, it ends right there? Yes, that one ends just right there. There's another sister question where somebody was asking me, what about after YouTube, what will you do? Oh, then? actually, it's right here. Yeah. Someone called Lava. We can show them so yes. they don't say that we are making this Lava. Up. Uh -huh. He's asking, what will happen if one day YouTube ends? Yeah, lover of sweet. <laughs> so the thing is, these guys. First, the first question was. Uh, the first first question was. Uh, are, apart from the YouTube, previous question, yes. Any additional income that you? Yeah, actually, uh, I don't personally. I don't make any other money apart from YouTube, though. Like I had my master class, uh, which. I don't know if I should say this or not. Should I or not? As, as you will feel. Yeah, so apart from the master class, which up to today I've not received the money yet. So I've only received like 600 US, 600 US dollars. That is a thousand Canadian dollars. So apart from that, that was my other form of income. But I'm expecting that money to arrive any time from now. So, me, I'm a guy who relies purely on YouTube, yes. And, um, yeah, YouTube is my main source. You know, YouTube comes in different forms, but it's my main source of income. Yes. So you're building, you're building your, your new incomes that are coming. Yeah, so actually the other question was, what will happen if YouTube what ends? Ha what will happen if YouTube ends? Yes, that is actually a question I've asked myself since day one. Since day one, I got my, not even when I got my YouTube channel, when I got started pay, being paid by YouTube yes. and living the lifestyle of just being a guy who travels the world. Yes. Today I'm in Mexico, the other day I'm here. It's something I always ask myself, what if YouTube ends today? And that is the reason why we have this. I am investing my, my entire, entire pay yes. so that if, Tomorrow they say YouTube ends. I will sit out there with my cows and 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 uh, horses and my wife here. We burn some maize and the day goes. Yes, I've always thought about this, and sometimes this makes me push my younger sister and even people around me. Like, hey, bro, just go with this wave as 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 it ex as, as it exists for now. Maybe tomorrow 
the wave will go to the other side. But it's been eight years since I had this feeling. And every single day what I do is I, I see it as a blessing and I take advantage in a positive way to building myself beyond YouTube. Yes, because I know a lot of people who make money on YouTube and they rent, they, they have just cars and, and they just want a flashy life. But if today YouTube cuts like this, they can't even finance those cars, they cannot even finance those rental houses or things like that. Yeah, and I'm telling any other YouTuber out there is, especially we YouTubers from Africa where we are the guys building from scratch. It's not like YouTubers in America where their dad is already rich or he had a house. You just inherit and paint. Is put your money, hold your money so it doesn't go away like a river. Okay? So that in future you can actually have a dam of money to swim in. I don't know if that makes sense. Finding Yan, did you understand that point? Yes. Yes. Because one day you never know. For but sure. before that day comes, make hay when the sun shines. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Komon is asking, when are you visiting Nigeria? Uh, probably next year. Next year. Yes. I'll try my best because this year we've done Southern Africa. Next year we can do uh, North and or West. Next year we'll have to go to those countries, especially West or North. North. Yes. Because we've done East Africa. Yeah. We've done Southern Africa. Southern Africa, we crossed everything. Yeah. There's no country we've not been in Southern Africa. Yeah, no, I think. No. From Tanzania going one down. Or two we didn't only. only Angola on the other side. Angola, Mozambique. Oh, um, me, I've been to Mozambique. Yeah, you have been, but in this, in this one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Another question here by S Sky. Do yeah. you think a big, big contractor will have saved you the construction hassles and even issues with workers? Uh, I'll still say 50-50 because there's nothing which is guaranteed. But the thing also is maybe I would have... Who is calling again? Oh, this guy is sending me. One minute, guys. Hello, Mr. Kelly. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, one minute. So, guys, I'm buying new solar panels. Not panels, these solar lights. Security for security. Yes, hold this. I'd send him my details. Uh, Frederick. Okay, for number seven, I will not say this again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button yeah, 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 yeah. and subscribe. We are road to one million here, guys. Yes, <laughs> yes for sure. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I've sent. Uh, let me just confirm with him. Okay. You, what do you think? Life after YouTube, what can you do? <sighs> Life after YouTube. <Yes. laughs> Me with my driving license, I look for a driving job. <laughs> yes. Um, guys, that's what I'll do. Life after YouTube. Yeah, I'll become a driver. A driver. Yes. <laughs> I'll use my skills. Use what I, ha you know, they say use what you have to get what you want. Yeah. Me, I'll become a driver. You, Rosio, <laughs> life after YouTube. Life, life after YouTube. Um, um, so I have many ideas of, yes. that includes different uh, incomes. Yes. But my, yeah. my main one is music, 100%. But in these things, I really like to study a lot about these things. And I study a lot of uh, financial educations, um, financial teachers, mentors about life, and they teach you how to invest and have many incomes or not. And many, many uh, also advise not to really have many in streams of incomes. It's very important to have a big, big one. And, and with that, you create your other so source of income, yeah. which is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Like me, I'm thinking, guys, if today, not today, in the next few years, if I, would to, I was to retire from YouTube, number one is I would still do film stuff. I want to have a reality show, like a huge reality show, like Big Brother Africa. You've ever watched Big Brother Africa? Yes. 
So I would, I would like to have like such a huge, big TV show that the entire world sits every evening to watch just the way we, we run YouTube. But in a bigger way, like Netflix, but your own like show, you know? Yes. And also, because I've been a traveler for so long, I would wish to have a hostel. I love hostels. I don't know, I have, I have, I have crazy connections with hostels. Because when I was so broke and I couldn't travel the world, I used hostels as my rescue, like my cross. I'd go there, pay $7. So I feel like me having a hostel will be actually me supporting a young traveler out there and also keep the rates low. So, yeah. I've always dreamt of having a hostel. Yes. Yeah. I think that's how I will age slowly. <laughs> Next question. Uh, oh, it was the phone? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting for this guy to send me details okay. about uh, we need to pay so that those right. solar panels come. Yes. Successful is asking, uh, does, does Rocio have Kenyan citizenship? Okay. Rocio, you want to ask that? No, no, no. I don't have a citizenship yet. No. Yes. I'm a tourist. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sally. Sally is asking, what keeps you so consistent? Do you believe in consistency? Oh, that's what she asked? Yes. So what keeps me con Con so, so consistent? Yes. I always have this joke with Rocio that work hard. Smile to the bank. Yes. So sometimes we feel so lazy and we want to sit down and sleep every day and like say, oh, I don't want to do this video. Maybe I'll do, oh, let me rest today. But I always tell Rocio, work hard. And she says, smile to the bank. But I like smiling to the bank, guys. And when you smile to the bank, uh, technically I use this word smiling to the bank, but it's purely saying, at least you want to work today and tomorrow will be a bright day for you. So that is important but also apart from that is uh, i have grown to believe that actually uh, there is there is a formula to success showing up every day even if it's not working right now one or two years down the line or three or how many years as long as you show up every day it will work out yes all right if you feel that's too much, we can go YouTube. Yeah. Okay. We are about to, I'm checking questions random, random here. Yeah. Okay, someone is asking, in which country will your kid get bored in? Haha, <laughs> small laugh. <laughs> small laugh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> this is a man, man like Rico. Man, man like Rico. Rocio, answer that. <laughs> when he will be born? No, which country? Where? Which country? We'll be born. Yes. 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 And the reason we are going to Argentina is to get birth in Argentina, to make yes. it an Argentinian. Yes. So the reason we decided that the kid will be born in Argentina is first, I'm a traveler and I've faced a lot of, a lot of painful, uh, like visa things. What is that? It's a message. Yeah. I think Instagram. Okay, because I'm waiting for this guy to send me a message to pay. Yeah. They are sending me the, the gadgets. Okay. So when you see it coming, just know it's them. So the thing is, guys, me have been through denials, rejection of visas here and there. But I've always gone hard, you know, like I don't give up. They reject me, I try the next country and it works out, I keep going. So, but we decided that we don't want to put our kid in same predicament. Maybe one of our kids will be born in Kenya, but our firstborn will be born in Argentina. And the main reason is first, Rocio wants to be around her, her mom and also her family, especially her mom. At the same time, also we want our kid to have that uh, Argentinian uh, passport, which is very organic because the mom is from there. Yes. Or, or, or you think Kenya is okay? Um, to be honest, I have double opportunities than, than Kenya, so I can go, I can travel double, double the world. So, for know, example, Rocio's passport, she can go to 174 countries. 174. 
Kenya we can go to 72. Oh. Yeah. So why would you why would you give you a key? Kenyan passport <laughs> is so limited. Very very limited. Imagine. Uh, 72 countries and I'm 174. 102 countries. Somebody is already on top of you. And the Kenyan one? 72. And you find 99% of them you require a visa. Even if you go to those countries, they still they are not willing to receive you that much. Yes. They are like, what have you come to do here? Tell me oh. your job. So many. Yeah. yeah. And I receive a lot of, welcome to, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> like even when we were traveling <laughs> yeah. in, in Southern Africa when we were with her, the only thing they wanted is just little money of visa. And not even visa, it's like visa on arrival. You know when you go and you pay like $30 and you yes. walk in? But me, I can't do that when I leave Kenya for South America. Every country in South America, apart from Panama, I need to present a visa. Yes, for example, me as an Argentinian, yeah. uh, without passport, just with my ID, I can travel 10 countries around Latin America. Just with, with my ID. ID, just ID my only. ID. ID 10 only. countries. Hey, in Kenya, ID. even ID. Uh, <laughs> ID is only taking you in Kenya in to Ke the next county. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. So honestly, why would I put my kid in positions that, that as a traveler, you know me, I'm talking as a traveler, but if you intend to have a kid who will be a pastor or maybe yeah. will, be, will be a pilot, even a pilot, you need, you need free movement. Me, I believe in free movement because I've been, in, I've been traveling for the last seven years or eight years in this case, having been over 70 uh, countries and above, I know what it means to have the right papers or documentation to travel. Yes. It will be a, a family travels, a yes. traveler family, so we also want to make it easier from the beginning to yeah. the baby. Let me keep struggling for now, <laughs> but not my kid. No, that one I say no. Yeah. I remember one time there is a lady called Eve Mungai. She interviewed me about the same question. Yes. And I said the same exact thing. And things manifested that now we're going to have our kid outside. Wow. Yeah. Hey, from the word go, I said I'll not have a kid in Kenya because I didn't want. Uh, this. Imagine you, you have to go to the, to the embassy. They put you on a bench. They tell you, wait there. No, today the boss is not here. Come next week, Thursday. And then they deny they, it. You, you pay, like, like me to go to Argentina right now, uh, my visa only, the payment I do, is like uh, $180? I think it's going to be, yeah, around $160, $180. Imagine, $180, that is 20000 And that is already a flight for someone heading to the next country in Europe. For sure, yeah. for sure. You see, so you don't have to be there. And guys, you'll forgive me, but maybe one of my kids in the future will be Kenyan. After already, they have family in Argentina. <laughs> okay. Yes. Frank is asking, I think this, we, can, we can read this, then move to YouTube. Okay. Because the rest, they are like repeating. Okay. Yes. Frank is asking, why do you never travel to central Kenya? Okay, central Kenya. Actually, I don't know why. That's a region like I've not really... Travel. travel to, but in future, I promise you. Once, I, especially when I have my own car now, we will be heading there with the Rocio to Mount Kenya and things like that. Yes. But you know, mostly people don't really travel to central Kenya. People always like to go to like Mombasa, you yes. know, like Nairobi. Nairobi, coastal places and regions. Yes, where there's yeah. a lot of entertainment. Yeah. yeah. But we will visit Nanyuki, we will visit those Mount Kenya, Nyahururu. Yeah. You're from Nyahururu, I'm right? I'm from Nyahururu, me. Yeah. So if I come to your home right now, yes. what will I do? Like something super exciting. Ah, maybe you'll go see Thompson Falls. Okay. Yes. Maybe eat fruits. Okay. Nanyuki is one hour away. Okay. Yes, Mount Kenya there. There's a lot to do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Okay. I, uh -huh. We go to YouTube now. Okay, Rocio, you have your, this one you can help us okay. read because... Uh, from YouTube, both of them can access. Instagram, yes. it was just me. Instagram is one phone. Yes, at this point, take a minute to give yourself a shout out, uh, Finding Ian. So guys, uh, my name is Finding Ian on YouTube. Yes. I'm actually inspired by I am Marwa here. Uh -huh. And every day I'm here to, to learn. And uh, I'm learning a lot. Me, I've learned a lot, especially in the field of YouTube. And not just YouTube, even with filming and just 
life in general you learn a lot about life yeah and me i'm gaining a, a purposeful like direction of life with sense that's all i can say and uh me i'm always grateful to to be here and to learn you know at least i, I can be in a position to impact others on one day in the future even if not on youtube or not through youtube at least if you support someone else out there if i can be able to maybe one day then that will be something like to really be happy of when you think about yes for sure all right i i saw some controversial questions here a little bit i'll yes. add yes. uh one said richard says what should i invest my money in right there i mean i will advise you to uh, to buy land no matter where this land is as long as you don't pay property taxes because sometimes those property taxes especially in other countries it means the day you will not pay they can take your land away or your house i find countries like kenya where you don't have to pay property taxes especially in the village rural areas and you can invest in land and apart from that is you can build houses uh, one thing i tell people about building houses is build a house that can stand can withstand time don't build a house after maybe 5 years there are new types of houses you feel like yours is not really good enough so build a house once and forget same as we built this house we think in the next 100 years it will still be a test of time like it still stands so something like that so invest your money if you don't want to build houses just buy land just buy land plant trees like those right there those trees every single day they are growing up that means more money is coming in one day maybe you'll be feeling tired you'll be cutting one tree for a timber and you eat lunch and you you enjoy some food with your your kids uh, another one says um are you still are you planning to visit your wife's parents before your wife's parents before baby come no we are going when yeah it's before the baby but we are going there okay somebody says we are waiting for your video with peace boy kindly watch which date we will organize that peace boy i think is peace boy is around or uh, i saw somebody like he's traveling to nyabwans i also saw him posting like he's traveling so okay. i'm not sure whether he's he has arrived so peace boy if you are listening to this uh, please give us a message we know what's going on Somebody says are South American women better for marriage than African women cause I love Hispanic. Uh that is purely personal because my mom is is from Africa and she's very loving and everything. I'll say uh me I like the fact that that we can live beyond culture and beyond race. And also just being so international I feel like it's also good to try and see what other people on the other side of the uh, the world if it's something you do but i say like you cannot actually generalize generally but you know other places their cultures are very difficult to deal with you don't have to deal with them so yeah for example other cultures uh, i don't want to say because maybe people will feel like they have been attacked directly but what i'll say is just find a culture that you feel suits you like me for example i don't like to to really be on my foot running so that means places like germany would be hard for me to live that means i would not date someone from there but maybe i'm saying from a generalized thing that the germans are more strict more something like that me i like more relaxed more music more bachata more this so it's purely it ends up with personal choice there's nothing good or bad yeah and also people are different yeah same as in the same family your sister could be behaving very different from the other sister that you have or your brother something like that all right okay rosio yes you forgot reading the questions <laughs> let's see uh, yes in on youtube Oh, wait, I was here. I was here. Uh-huh. Um, there was one that it was uh, What? So this one comes from Mogu Mogurekaraya. Mogurekaraya. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, he has many questions, or she, I don't know. But when he says, what's the guiding principles that have shaped you, that have shaped how you relate with people? Okay. Got it? Yeah. The guiding principle. Yeah. So my main principle in life, number one, is always be honest. Because I feel like when you are honest, it keeps you away from many other unpredictable circumstances. When you are honest, it's always like, oh yeah, that guy said it. Like, there is, and, and the beauty of that is, there is nothing beyond that. There is nothing that you left behind. There's nothing that is ahead of you. You just, you just said, oh, the, the leg, the leg is, 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 is broken. Okay, so remove that chair from there. So we, we, we get, you see, I was, I was feeling that That's chair. The one that was shaking when the I came in. Yeah, I was, I was feeling something abnormal. So what I can say is, is my guiding principle is honesty. I've come to learn that if you're not honest, things one day will catch up with you. And they will catch up with you in a very bad way. Uh, Gake, you remove that chair from there. You take it to one of the rooms and we look for a glue or a carpenter to come and fix the, 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 the leg. That's my guiding principle. And apart from that, apart from just honesty, is uh, don't do shortcuts. Because there is a documentary on YouTube. I like to watch it a lot. It's, it talks about a man and greed. So also greed is one of the things I really, really ensure it's not part of my life. You know, greed is when I see this phone, I want it to be mine. I see this, why can't it be mine? Like, Everything. you need to have control to actually even your dreams, what, what you want, you know? Because if you don't do that, greed will drive you. And if it drives you, it will be disaster at the end. Because greed makes you to be dishonest and you want, you want, you want, you, you can't stop at anything. Sure. Yes. Nothing so, is never yeah, nothing is never enough. Like, even if you have everything, you still want more and more and more. But how more can you actually consume before you hit the end? So I tend to be to be guided by honesty and ensuring I am not greedy. Like, I realize most people actually even their dreams fall because they are greedy. There's a time I posted a video where there were three women. I don't know if you saw on Instagram. There was a guy who get presented envelopes. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was like bread. You pick a bread and you see something be be below the bread. So he had put three breads. Actually, four breads. Mm -hmm. So like this phone, you put it here. You put another one, you put it. So the first, he, then this guy brought three ladies. He told them, choose any bread here and there is a price attached to it. So the first lady chose and she got $200. Two, was it like $200? 300 I remember now. She got like $300. No, that was the last one. The first one chose and got like $100 actually. Mm -hmm. the second one chose, got like $150. The third lady chose and she got $300. Then the guy who was giving them all this told them, you can trade that bread for maybe a bigger gift or a smaller gift. Who wants to try? You never know. This could be a thousand dollar bread you're living here. And this one lady said, No, the two ladies who had, had one had won 100, another one 150, told the lady with 300 dollars, Hey, maybe you should trade. <laughs> and she thought a little bit, say, Yeah, maybe I should trade. And she traded. She got 20 dollars. Mm -hmm. When she, she, now imagine she had already 300. Should have been like, God, thank you for today. I didn't have this. But still she wanted more. Wow. And even in the line, she was, she was the like amount. the yeah. biggest amount. But she still she wanted more. more, and, more. and then everything <laughs> came down crumbling with a $20 bill. That's bad. Yes. So actually it was an Instagram video. It's very viral. I think I shared with you or? Yeah, we saw it together. Yes. So you see that actually still solidified my idea of greed. You be grateful of what you have today, but work towards improving or achieving more. That's all. And believe in time, like time will, 
will bring all that. Yes. Okay. Next question. Next question. Yes. Okay. We'll find those. Oops. Where it has gone now. Okay. Finding Yan, if you found something. It has. Okay. Let me. Read one uh, because here. there is a lot of that say it's not a question. I just love you and things, you know. Yeah. Okay. So um, someone uh, just comment. Yeah. Someone is asking with regards to the master class. Yeah. This is I am Gono and wives. Mm -hmm. Is asking when are you going to give some special shout outs for us, your master class students, please. Uh, the thing is, there's nothing guaranteed that if you buy a master class, you'll get a shout out. Okay. Let me pay. Hello? 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 My phone keeps hanging. I don't know why. It work? Oh my gosh. Okay, you can read, you can read that time. Then you can read another question, then I'll answer about the masterclass as I deal with this phone. Okay. My phone just hung. Luis is asking, what do I need to start my YouTube video? To start a YouTube video or yeah. a YouTube... Uh... He said video. He asked about video. What do I need to start my YouTube video? Okay. All you need is a cell phone. Minimum. Like finding me and all he has is his cell phone. This one. Me first when I was, this one is at least upgraded. Mm -hmm. When I was starting my first uh, YouTube video, yes, I had a very funny red phone, Android, and the files inside the file opener mm -hmm. could not tell you if this is a photo or a video. So if you click delete, it deletes everything. So all you need to start your YouTube video is just a phone. A phone that can record even in 2K, 1080 pixels, at least a clear video and something that can show you a face and the environment you are in around in a clear way. I think that's best. Again, another thing you need is internet. Because yes. to access YouTube is internet, to post internet, to read comments internet, you know. So you need phone internet. What do you think, Rocio? Confirm, come on, Melipa. I'm telling this one. Hi. Sorry. What what does he need to 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 put his first YouTube video? What does he need? Yeah, to post his first YouTube video. Just start. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. So he has that. Yes. Making a first video, posting it. Yes, guys, just start. Next next question. We'll do five more and I'm we'll seen, end. Uh, there are questions which have collided here with okay. three people. Okay. How did you and your wife really meet? I think many people are, are okay. asking that question a lot. Rocio, yeah. how did you meet Maro? Reveal today. Okay, you Rocio. can answer, because last time I, I answer myself. I'll let you, you can to go. Rocio. You can go. <laughs> go, go. Or you want us to keep it secret? Go, go, go. If you decide. Oh, yes. So, so guys, I was traveling in Argentina. Not Argentina. I was traveling in Mexico, a place called Puerto Escondido. And then I uh, went to this dating app called Bumble. That is where I found my beautiful wife. It's that simple. But the beauty of this was the ladies have to text you first. So I first matched with her. I was like, wow, this is a cute lady. Maybe she's going to be my next wife. Then Rocio hit back and said, hey, how are you? And just like that, that same day we went for lunch, and just like that, we've been a couple. So actually, online dating works, because something funny about these foreign countries is if you stop a beautiful girl on the road and say, hey, how are you? You look cute. I want to talk to you. That's already sexual harassment. But not everywhere. Uh, America, you can't everywhere. do that. Yeah, but America's not the entire world. Yeah, America, so you can't do that. Because, for example, if you... If we, we met in this case through this dating app, but if we would be on a somewhere and you come and approach me, I would have loved that, you know? So I wouldn't take it as offensive. As long as you don't come off, off with an offensive language, yeah. but if you come gentle and nice, we like that. We like the man taking action. But you know, there are, there are many countries which say people say personal space, this guy is creepy, this guy is... Uh... Yeah, but not everywhere. Not everywhere. All right, guys.
So that's how we met. Finding Ian. All right. Another question. Yes. Rude boy is asking. Yes. What would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned as a traveler over the years? Hello. One minute, ma'am. Eh, ah, ah. Yani ilileta, like, in wacha ni kutume yo pesa wa wape hapo jamani. Mimi sijui nitafanya aje. Ime. Okay. One minute. Let me send this guy uh, money. You, okay. Finding Ian, you, can, you yes. can read the question as I try to send money right now. Guys, Rude Boy here posed a question and asked, yes. what, uh, what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned as a traveler over the years? So and one thing I've learned is always stay calm. Always, no matter what. Always stay calm. That's all you need to do. Yes. Yes. That is the main and number one uh, like greatest lesson I've learned. All right. African Beauty is asking, how do you manage to stay positive with all negativity going around? Guys, sorry, my battery went off. Okay, what was the last question? What the, la the last question was about, uh, it was about traveling. What have I, li what I, what have I learned? Yes, as a traveler. Yeah. Always stay calm. Like no matter the situation, just stay calm. Actually, if you panic and show any sign of uh, you not being calm, just know you are at the losing end. Yes. You stay calm no matter what. You stay calm and that will fix everything. Another question which I think rhymes with that one yes. is asking, top trending is asking, what to do once you arrive in a new country as a traveler? The first thing you do. So when you arrive at the airport, number one thing, if you don't have the money of that area, of that country, is find an ATM card. Not, not ATM card, ATM machine. So get the local currency and always choose the highest amount that the ATM can give you so that you avoid withdrawing money in and out. Once you have that money, Find a SIM card, maybe it's at the airport or at the area of crossing, right, right there. In the first 10 minutes, you should do this. Get an ATM, withdraw money, and get a SIM card, those two things. Once you do those two things, everything else will be okay because you'll have your phone uh, with data. So with data, you can book an Uber, you can call someone. Those are the first things you do, especially if you go to a country where nobody knows you and nobody was expecting you to arrive. That's what you need to do. Arrive at the airport once you are finished with the immigration. Look for an ATM. They're always at the airport or in these points because those are points that many people cross every day. Get the money, get the SIM card, put uh, internet in it, buy it some internet data. That is it. You are like in your own home country. Yes. Okay. Uh, someone else, African Sharon is asking, Hi Maro, my dream is visiting you one day, but I don't know how to book an appointment. Yes. What do I do to visit? Uh, don't worry. Probably you'll visit next year from November when we have a big party. Rosia, you are ready for this big party? <laughs> Next year? Yes, next year. At least you'll have relaxed. Okay. Yes. Anyway, the appointments that we receive for visitors, uh, they go through my email. My email, I can receive the appointments. I'm okay. the one organizing. What's your yeah. email address? It's rocio, R-O-C-I-O, Rocio Cabrera, 14, at gmail.com. That's okay. my Rocio Cabrera 14 at gmail.com. Okay, why are you smiling? <laughs> yeah. The question here yes. someone, Lady is asking, Are you guys going to keep the baby monkey? <laughs> oh, the baby monkey. The baby monkey. Yeah. The baby monkey never came back, so I guess maybe they, they something happened. <laughs> yeah, or maybe to run away. Or maybe run away. We will not keep the baby monkey, guys. Also, we don't want to be in situations where. Uh, people are, okay, we are not going to keep, that's the simplest answer. <laughs> uh, yes. Porsche is asking, what, ma what one major advice will you give to upcoming content creator? Major advice is don't look at, at the views or numbers, especially if you are upcoming. 
You focus on every day creating better videos. Ask yourself, oh, yesterday I filmed a video. How is today's video better than yesterday's video? That should be your main concern. Don't worry, this guy is getting more views. Oh, we started together. Him, he has been monetized. Why not me? Or God is not on my side? No, no, no. You stop those things. You just focus on your craft. Always ask yourself, how did I improve my craft today than yesterday? All right. Next question, guys, by you, sir. Mm, what Rosia, are... you should help also. <laughs> no okay. problem. Okay. Yes. Yusa is asking, what are you planning to do with the land where all freeloaders are using your Wi-Fi? <laughs> that land over there. So those people who are using my Wi-Fi, is, it's just because I want to support local boys. Yes. Otherwise, in future, we will, we will put uh, cabins there, and also Rocio will open like a healing center. Is it healing center? How do you call it, Rocio? Yeah, we would say like a space for retreats. Space for retreat. Like it maybe would have different purposes. Yeah, maybe Not finding Ian, you can come retreat here and find a wife. Yes. Yes. One day, when I grow up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I grow up. When I grow up, I'm still a bit growing up. Okay. Yeah. How old are you actually finding Ian? 22. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm still young. Maybe 28. Yeah. Anything from 27. 27. As a man, you're doing well. Yes. When the right time comes, yeah. things will fall in place. Rosia, you found some questions? I'm, I'm looking for them. Let me see. There should be very many, or they're not questions. Uh, most of them are no questions. Others are um, like um, suggestions or advices. Okay. They're talking about this topic in particular, about Marwa, don't respond to these people. And also others are very offensive, so I'm... We don't have to give that energy neither, so. Okay. Finding Ian, what did you get? Okay, I'm seeing here. Okay, let's do three more questions. So, okay, four. Two from your side and two from your side, and we finish. Okay. And we put a conclusion. Hansel here is asking about tra still traveling. He's asking, I'm curious, how do you withdraw your YouTube money when you are traveling in different countries? As in, which bank allows you to withdraw even in different countries. Okay. So the thing is, guys, uh, as long as you use a Visa or MasterCard, you can withdraw money anywhere in the world. Even my own sister does the same with a Kenyan bank account. Me, I don't have, I don't have one. I don't have a Kenyan bank account. But the thing is this, it's not a big deal. You just talk to your bank, tell them, hey, I'll be traveling. I want you to open my, my ATM uh, card to be that I can withdraw money worldwide. And actually, after maybe two, three months, I always talk to my bank and tell them, hey, you know, I'm traveling. Because sometimes the bank can be suspicious. In 10 minutes, you get money in, in South Africa. The next 10 minutes, you're in Lesotho. You're getting money from the other side. So, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible, yes. So you can actually withdraw money from anywhere in the world if you just alert your bank that, hey, you know, I'm traveling, so, yes. So that's question number, so you have one more to go. Rocio? Uh, yeah, let me, let me just look for, because I, uh, the, I think then maybe we can come back to Instagram. Instagram. I think in Instagram, uh, people is nicer with you than YouTube. <laughs> oh. Because I know, uh, that's, that's true, Ian, also. Yes. I see yes. that there's a lot of, People like to be very offensive. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because some questions, like, they can bring some negative. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Guys, today we are avoiding negative stuff. So if you are among those guys, sorry, we are moving on. Yes. House Hunting is asking, how does YouTube count the first 4,000 hours? I think she's asking about the monetization. Yeah. So it wow. has to happen before the last 368, no, 365 days of your application of your monetization. Let's say if you apply your monetization today, they will start counting from today backwards, 365, the last one year, yes. But the best thing to do is make good videos that you'll have at least uh, those hours within maybe even three months or six months. Don't wait until it's like 11 months and that's, no, 
Yes. All right. If there's no more questions, I find any and you found anything? I'm going to check one more. Okay, let's check one more on Instagram, guys. Yes. Because Instagram... I'm, I'm shocked that YouTube has more haters than, than Instagram. But I'm not surprised that... Uh, the biggest more free, you know, like... Any but good thing, even those who are commenting negative, they have subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> so let me find you guys here. And guys, please follow us on Instagram. So let's hit on this question. Aisha was asking, how is your pregnancy journey going um, so far? Probably Rocio could answer that, but even me, I will answer. But maybe you can answer, because yeah. like, how is it from your side? From my side, I'm enjoying. Yeah. I'm like, bro, come quick out. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, just the journey. But uh, if you have a pregnant wife, guys, in one minute you could be laughing with her. The next minute she want to finish you. Like, <laughs> yeah, very mad and everything. So you just take it easy. But apart from that, you know, every, even watching the belly grow every day is like, wow. You know? The kicking. Yes. Also, the kicking. The other day, the baby kicked. I put my hand like this, and I had... <laughs> and there is a, a position, if Rocio sleeps, the baby always kicks. Yeah. Yeah, if she faces me when I'm uh, my side. You know? Okay. Finding me and... I'm hearing stories. <laughs> uh, it feels like speaking in tongues. Okay. Uh-huh. So this... Let me see. This is... So let's see these Instagram stories. Okay. I don't know. Let me check for you. Yeah, you're the one who was reading. Uh, Valerie is asking, have you ever prepared yourself for fatherhood? I think that is still about mm -hmm. being a father. Just find two more last questions. Okay. That will be it. We are looking for questions here. Because most people write just uh, random, like, oh, thank you for this, this. Yeah. Like, this person wrote too many. Who is this? Here, here, here. What is he saying? This guy is asking, is it true you don't like it? This is negative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you doing any research to prepare for fatherhood? Still, same as the other okay. question. What will you advise? What advice will you give to someone who has given up with life completely? No job, no money. Wow. Oh, so no job, that's, no money. That's a lady asking. What you need to do, if it's possible to go back to your village, go back. Because if you don't have a job and you don't have money and you live in big cities, you can find yourself doing sketchy things that you maybe in, in a normal day you'll not do. So go back to your village and just chill, relax, take time, and actually ask yourself, what do I really want to do in this life? Then start doing it. Even if it does not give you money, you start doing it. Believe in it, believe in it, believe in it, believe in it. One day, you look back and smile. So that is my greatest advice. Go back to your village where your mom is, your dad is, because you are a son or a daughter of someone. You go back there. And also, don't see it as a bad time. This is a very good time to reflect on your own and to think, what do I really want as this person? Yes. And also, this is the time you reach God, you pray, and ask God to actually show you your way. And even one thing I can promise you is, you're very close to becoming what you've always dreamt of. Because one thing I learned is before you become, you have to be tested. When everything falls apart. When everything, everything falls apart, it's like the best moment for you to revert, you yes. know, like the phoenix. Yes. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. We send you strange shots. Yes. All right, finding Ian. One the last more. I've seen a very interesting question here. Yes. If you could rewind your YouTube career, would you do anything different or is everything on track? Hmm. I think uh, I'll say like this. 
You know also this beauty of try and error, where you don't know what you're doing until you find yourself. Me, the only thing I can, I can say is, uh, I've, I've lived a good life uh, through YouTube, and every experience has been just amazing. Even though some experiences bring, brings me pain and, 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 and betrayal and things like that, I always see it as a learning lesson. I don't see like it's a sad thing to do. But if today I would start a YouTube channel, I'll focus all of my energy to really building myself as a brand. Because I came to learn this later, after maybe I did, I used to do like street interviews. But I also understand when you're starting, maybe nobody cares about what you ate for lunch or something like that, who you are dating. So you have to show them something maybe exterior for them to recognize you, then one day you can speak for yourself. But I'll say for me, it's just been a good ride. And one thing I love about my career on YouTube is every year I grow, I just keep doing my thing. But I realize also it does not want a lot of friends around you. A lot of friends, they bring gossip. And now that you are a public figure, people will try to claim they, because you met them, you did this, you did that, just purely out of malice and, 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 and yeah, some people don't like your success, especially if you're progressing every day. So. They say it's lonely at the top. So if you really want to go, just be on your own. Like me, I remember when I had like 100,000 subscribers, nobody even talked about me on YouTube. Nobody reacted, nothing. I, just, I was just living my life simple. Every day I did videos and I had fun base. I just lived my life. But now it's turned out ugly. But uh, we are going back to track. Yes. yes. Okay, parting shots or finding you and you still having one that is... I'm not, the others, they're like repeating themselves. Okay. Like when you travel again. Or see your end, uh, uh, parting shot from your side. Parting shot? Yeah, it's like closing remarks. Closing? Yeah. Um, no, I think um, all the questions are nice also to to come inside you know yeah. and reflect about the things that we have done the things that we can do better so thank yeah. you for the questions and yeah also i think many questions asking about career and everything in life it's also good to ask yourself those type of questions because those questions bring answers that take you to places so take action on your goals and dreams and projects and everything because you can you can be anywhere you want. All right. Yeah. And give yourself a shout out, then I'll go to finding Ian. If the sun is coming hard on Ian. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. Yeah. But I love it because my solar is charging. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Three fifty three. Three fifty three. Yes. Okay. Okay. My channel is Roca Brera. I actually changed it, guys, to from Roca Brera Travels. Now it's Roca Brera. Okay. Roca Brera Blogs is the link. With, with Roca Brera, you find me already. Just okay. my name, yeah. Wow, I didn't know even you, you had changed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, finding Ian. Yes, guys. What, what have you learned from the questions? Ah, or there's me, something you want to add? Mine was about traveling. Okay. Me, I've learned about traveling, like the responses you are giving, because I'm preparing also to be a traveler. Yeah. I got my passport, okay. so one time I'll be traveling. Yeah. Uh, yes. And also about traveling is, start with the countries you don't need visas. Yes. So you put more stamps on your passport. Yes. So the day that you're even asking for a visa, they will see this guy has been moving around. around. Yes. Don't but just start, you want to go to Europe day one. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yes. Go to Namibia, go South Africa, go everywhere where you don't need a, pass, uh, don't need a visa. Yes. Then once you, like my sister, you know, my sister started with Southern Africa. Yes. Then she went to India, then Asia, then Europe, then now she's in America. For sure, but see, I'll see? start traveling after after I finish building. Okay. Yes. Finding Yan is having a project, guys. Watch him out. Yes. So you can also support him. And my message is always one. It doesn't matter your age or where, where you come from. Always be kind and have positive, pure intentions. Yes. Simple. Thank you. Yes. 
Guys, I'm going to end here. I want to say thank you for all your questions. We've tried to answer you. And if we didn't read your questions, uh, probably it's because there were too many. There were very many uh, questions being sent. And comments. And comments. Yes. Over 500 or 1,000 close there, okay. heading there. So maybe we didn't see and don't get mad about that. Uh, that is the end of this session, and we'll see you tomorrow. Please check out Finding Ian and Roca Brera. Yeah, I've yeah. always known to say Roca Brera. And there are two channels. There's music. Music, Roca Brera music, and Roca Brera blogs. Yes, and yeah. yours is? Finding Ian. Finding Ian. You know the funniest thing I saw? Someone has already created another YouTube channel yeah. called Finding Ian. And Instagram also, there is another Finding Ian. So, now I'm confused. No, that <laughs> means you are growing. Someone is now they, they want, helping me. Yeah, imagine. Uh, now you imagine if you are Maro. Every day there is, <laughs> there is even Mbosi Amboka. Even, is, <laughs> even TikTok. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, that was the Q&A. And it was a very honest review. Uh, not really review, but answers from our bottom of our heart. See you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye. Thank you for your questions. All I need is you, baby, baby. Over. How much do I need to party here in Jamaica? Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.